Section 11 of My Bible History Old Testament by Bishop Morrow. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. In time, the flocks of Abraham and Lot increased, and quarrels arose between their herdsmen. But Abraham loved peace, and therefore suggested that he and Lot separate. Lot went to live in Sodom, while Abraham remained at Hebron. One day three strangers came to Abraham's tent. He knew at once that one represented the Lord, and that the other two were angels. He went with them some distance on their way to Sodom. God told Abraham that he was about to destroy the wicked cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, because their people had committed many impurities. Abraham was filled with pity for the people. He asked, Will you destroy the just with the wicked? If there be fifty just men there, will you spare the cities for their sake? And the Lord said, I will. Abraham continued interceding for the cities. Finally God promised, For the sake of ten just men, I will not destroy them. Abraham then returned home, but the two angels went on to Sodom. The two angels went to the house of Lot. He received them gladly. The angels told Lot of the coming destruction of Sodom, in which there were not even ten just men. Upon learning of the arrival of the strangers, Many people surrounded Lot's house, wishing to do them harm. However, the wicked plan did not work out, because the people were miraculously struck with blindness and could not find the door of Lot's house. Early the next morning the angels led Lot and his family out of the city. The angels warned them not to look back, but to flee the place at once. Out of curiosity, Lot's wife looked back and was turned into a pillar of salt. God rained brimstone and fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah, Everything, people, cattle, and houses were destroyed. The place where the cities were located was turned into a lake, what we now call the Dead Sea. No fishes can live in this lake, neither can plants grow on the shore. It is a fearful and lasting proof of God's punishment of sins of impurity. End of section 11